aboard the Southwest train service to Alton. Calling at Rookwood, Ashvale, Aldershot, Farnham, Bentley, and Alton. After 27 years, I decided it was time to pay my hometown a visit to see how much it had changed. Aldershot is a town in the English county of Hampshire. It's known for its connection to the British Army, which established a permanent camp in the area for instruction and military manoeuvres in 1854 during the Crimean War. I've often wondered how much Aldershot had changed and if the recent move by the army had affected the town. Well, an interesting little start here is uh, right at the station there, there were two policemen uh, waiting and uh, they had seen me put the video camera away in a rush and I've, I got stopped right at the uh, entry to the town and he didn't give me a ticket but he did take my information I guess they're very um, interested when people are photographing things around the town so this is going to be an interesting uh, adventure taking pictures of the town with the police now they followed me out of the station and he said no I'm not following you um, but uh, we'll see if we see them again today Are you known to police, sir? What kind of a question is that? Well, we're walking down, this is Station Road, and the thing that I noticed immediately is the old Vox uh, cinema, uh, or theatre, is still there. Uh, very little changes around here. They put a new block, block of flats up right here. And this is uh, coming up to Little Wellington Street. Uh, just around the corner is where my mum and dad had an antique shop. I'm going to go and see what that became of that. This is the uh, area where, where our uh, antique or second-hand shop was. Right here. And my dad had a friend called Mac who had an old uh, memorabilia shop at the bottom of the town. And it looks like that's since been torn down. They put some uh, flats up in that location right behind me here. I'll give you a bird's eye. So, Dad, Mac's shop is gone. I don't know where Mac is. I came down here to say hi, but I bet he's probably kicking back having a cup of tea right now. And this is just another view of Sebastopol Road from the bottom of the road. So you can see what it looks like now. So I stood outside this building a number of times right when I got out of school. This is the former unemployment office. There it is all boarded up. I'm not sure what that means. Aldershot Town FC. In Aldershot Town, home where the army broke Uh, well, actually not funny, kind of silly. After the games, um, the fans would get out and since our store was right just up in, the, up in the town there, we used to get our window put in. Had our window put in a couple of times, as I remember. Okay, this is the entrance to Manor Park. This is where we would 
uh, come to the fairground and uh, if we wanted to walk up into the town from school, which is down there, uh, we'd cut through Manor Park. At the top of the park there is a, an old church and I wrote a song about that place. We'll take a look, see if it's still... I, I would imagine it's still there. And what can I remember about this place? I can remember my friend Mark Ferris uh, smelling a whiskey at the fair and uh, acting very odd. And it's the first time I've ever, I'd ever seen a, a drunk person in real life. And he, he was acting very, very odd. Um, got beat up here a couple of times. Um, yeah. I guess the thing that really amazes me about spots like this is how little it can change. We left in 81 and uh, not really much has changed, although as I look at the top of the park it looks like they put some houses up there. They used to have two schools, Manor Park, which is where the girls went, and Heron Wood, which is where they put all the boys, is where they put me, and it was a rough place. So I guess they didn't need the other school and they built some houses, how lovely. Okay, that little hut over there uh, was the, hut, the scout hut and uh, they used to have some really cool discos and that's where me and my brother and my friend Paul and Kevin would go to meet girls. who this is. Okay, so this would be where my first love lived. This is the tree where she used to say, Oh Gary, I love you. Good night. Oh, give me another kiss. This one. And after she dumped me, she started dating a boy from across the street. Isn't that horrible? Okay, so we're just approaching uh, Connaught School, which used to be Heron Wood. And this was, was the all-boys school where I went. Tungham Road. This is the approach. Looks a lot smaller than I remember it. That was the main entrance there. Cafeteria, that was a music room right there. Not sure I'm gonna be able to walk around today because there are teachers and students here, uh, but I just wanted to film it. So this is the exit to the school. This is the place where if someone had a beef with you, they'd be waiting, because um, this is where most of the kids would exit the school and if you um, had a fight uh, the usual thing to do would just be to go around at the park and it would be kind of like a semi-official thing but uh, yeah I had my head dug in a couple of times going to this place real rough house Take me home to my town. 